So, okay, one of your half a dozen New York Times bestsellers was co-authored with this gentleman, who we both know very well from our Patriots coverage days. That's Teddy Bruschi. I work with Teddy Bruschi. Yes. We love Teddy Bruschi. But love get your Teddy. mans. Get your mans. What happened? Between Jason Johnson yesterday, okay, talking about he's in Stafford's injury prone, and he's out of upgrade over Jared Goff, and calling him yeah. uh, Pat Stafford, whatever he called him. And now Teddy <laughs> Bruschi said he's not tough enough to play to the Patriots, and then Rodney Harrison piled on. This Matthew Stafford slander has got to stop. Check this out. He's not tough enough to play here. Yeah. He just He's just not tough enough. I mean, he's not – I don't think he's tough enough to be coached hard. I mean, do you, uh, do you realize the mental toughness that Tom Brady had to have for 20 years to deal with Bill Belichick? I mean, in that type of coaching, I mean, constant pressure every single day. Does Stafford sort of, you know, sort of grab you as a guy that could handle that? I just don't think so. Well, so he went to Sean McVay and get his little best friend relationship and go <laughs> have fun over there. You, you, That's fine. Let me just say this. And Matthew Stafford, I heard him come out and say he would go anywhere other than the Patriots and stuff. But, you know, you talk about physical toughness is one thing, and Matthew Stafford is a tough guy. But my thing is, you know, maybe he's not ready to step up and lead the Patriots because it's a lot of um, pressure being the Patriots quarterback. We saw that with Tom. We saw that with Cam. And, you know, for a guy like Matthew Stafford, who's played inside of a dome, he doesn't want any of that cold weather. He doesn't want to deal with that. He doesn't want to deal with coaching and changing philosophies and things. He's a guy that's stuck in his own ways. So I, I, I understand what he meant and what he said, but, um, you know, he's, yeah. he's, not, he's not the right guy for the situation anyway. Hell no. What <laughs> <laughs> child. Say, bro. It's the really? best day. Really, Rodney? This is my favorite day of the show is, right here a... since day one. He said a Man. dome. Did you hear him? Did you hear him? Oh, I'm done. Oh, no, no. Come back here. Come back here. I get to walk off today. I get to walk off. That's, I get to drop that mic. You come back here. You come back. <laughs> Rodney Harrison said he's not tough enough because he plays in a dome. Now, for context, background, I love this, by the way. I love this day. This is a great day. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you so much. Uh, for background, the guy in the empty seat, well, we had a conversation a while ago. We went back and forth. And I was just saying to him, it's just a theory I have. I, I don't have numbers on it. I'm not, a, I'm not that, that deep into analytics. Respect analytics, but not that deep into it. But I said to him, can you find a tough football team, a team that has its identity just tied up in defense and toughness that plays in a dome. And uh, Michael Smith gave me some pushback on it. And then to hear Rodney oh, Harris oh, oh, Rodney said it talk is right. about this, this dome quarterback, what Matthew that? Stafford, this product of a dome, this guy who has never won a playoff game in his life. Speaking of product, you think he could, what kind of product? What kind of product they passing around Patriot it. Nation is what I want to know. I love it. What are all of y'all? What it's are all of y'all inhaling? It's that good well, stuff. It's just, no, it's, it's, honestly, it's just so. Oh my God! You ever have a, a conversation or debate or argument with somebody, and you say you're proving my point for me? Everything you just heard from Teddy Bruschi and Rodney Harrison, respectfully, I love them both. I appreciate them both. It's exactly. It. Why nobody with like with a Whitney right mind wants to go to New England? Ain't nobody trying to hear all that. Ain't nobody trying to hear all that, man. You, gotta be tough. you ain't tough enough to play here. Go on, the elements. So, so butthurt. Oh, you ain't tough the enough to play elements. here. You're not good enough for us. Not that we're not good enough for you. Oh, well, not that you don't want to play Takes with these toughness. crappy receivers or play with 10 people on offense minus a tight end, as Michael Holly's pointed out all this time. Not that you don't hey, want to play here. Not, no, you, you don't, you'd rather be in L.A. with an offensive if genius that and a ready-made situation. No, you are good enough for us. You are good enough Garrett, for us. Yeah, Garrett, as a matter of fact, point, I mean, as a matter of fact, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? I just what? Want to, what? I, I just want I Gary, you the floor. at some what? point today, at some point today, I want him to just run that little clip back about don't. It just came into his head. He was going to make a different point, and Rodney went down and said, Both he of y'all missed the fantastic. Reach in. Dome team. Stop it with the dome stuff. The Dallas Cowboys 
won three in four years. I believe they played uh, played a dome. Oh, no. we were the holding uh, room. No. Okay, that's not a uh. dome. That's not a dome. Uh. Not a holding room. Right. Uh. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Uh. But it's regular, right? Because it's, 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 it's bone chillingly freezing in Dallas. Stop with that ridiculous nonsense. What the dome now? About you're not a tough team dome. if you don't play the. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. And a hole in the ceiling. Just, no, no. So God Rodney, can why? See. Why, Rodney? Why did you do this to me? Unknowingly, why did you do this to me? Why did you make this dude think that he had a point? Listen, man. Here, let me flip this on his head, too. Matthew Rodney Stafford Harrison, by the way, probably took, Rodney Harrison Rod is what? a great analyst. He's, He's a, a fantastic great analyst. analyst. A, great, a better you know guy. What? Okay. NBC, he, extend this contract. This guy's great. He's Matthew awesome. Stafford, I venture to say, is probably tougher than anybody playing for the oh, Patriots. You know why? Because he had to deal with Detroit. Y'all don't know the kind of mental strain that this man had to endure, and yet, yet and still lead the NFL in fourth quarter comeback since 2009. You know who's had the most drops in the league since he, since he got mm. drafted? Matthew Stafford's Detroit Lions. Look it up, mm. okay? Look right. it up. That's nice. Matthew Stafford that. is underrated, and I am sick and tired of you underrated. by extension. Jason Johnson, uh, freaking Rodney Harrison, and Teddy Rodney Bruce. Harrison. All of y'all put some respect. I'm bringing back baby. Put some respect. Uh, Birdman. I'm bringing back Birdman. Put some respect on Rodney or on Matthew Stafford's name and his resume, and he will prove all of y'all wrong playing with the Rams. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this resume. Look at this. Okay. In Detroit. Who said stats are for losers? In I don't Detroit. Know that. But uh, anyway, let me second say. high. Look at that. Okay. Look at the fourth one. Look at the fourth one. Second highest passer rating under pressure last year. That's great. Keep that. Keep that. Keep that chart up there. Um, can we add? Do I, can, can I get some? Can I just write something in? Can I, you allow me to write in? Can I write in his playoff wins? Where's he right there? How many playoff how wins he got? Oh, so elitist. How, he about to have, how he many? About, he about to have three, four of them this year. You know what? Sign he me up. Have, I'm a Rams fan this year. I'm a Rams I, fan I, this I, year. And I'm a Lions out, fan. Because you know wait, what? So far, Stadium. Jared is it a Goff, dome? Is it Jared a, Goff a got more roof? playoff wins than Matthew Stafford. What is, what is so far? Uh, it's beautiful. What is so far? They got a, uh, they got, they got a roof. I don't know. Uh, do, do they count, would they be tough to you? Would they count as tough? So let me get this straight. You got to play outdoors and in cold weather to be considered tough. Not in cold and if weather. you don't, not in cold weather. you're not tough. No, no, no. Okay, so, no. You can, so you can play in sunshine, but you're tough. Well, I, I'm going to tell you why. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to enlighten you. Because you're, you're trying to you're trying to mock the whole dome theory. You're trying to because it's ridiculous. It. You're trying to dismiss it. It mocks itself. It's good science. It's ridiculous. It's good science if you really think about it. If you think about it. Science. Because right. what a dome. Because football. The, 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 let me tell you about football, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go, Paul Brown. Let's go. 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 George I love Hallis. Did this. I wish Thank we had you, some Rodney. NFL films music. Go ahead, break it down. Tell me about football. Tell me all about it. The autumn wind is a raider. Yeah. Uh, no. Right. Um, no. Seriously, I would say this is what I, this is what I like about teams that don't play in a dome, is that they are forced just by just by nature, literally by nature, you're forced to deal with whatever you get that day, and I think what hurts dome teams is that you know eight times a year. You know you can set the conditions. And it's like anything in life, really. I, not, if we're not talking about football, now we're talking about life. If I can set the conditions for you, and I say every day it's going to be like this, it's ideal conditions, and now you operate in ideal conditions, you're going to do all right. You're, you're probably going to have a pretty good life. But every day, every game you come out there, you have no idea. One day it might be 90 degrees. One day you might get a freak snowstorm. You've got to deal. Your team has to respond to that. And dome teams are built intelligently. By the way, let me point this out. It's intelligent to build your team based on where you are. So if you've got a dome team, if you're playing uh, in, in a dome and you got a lot of speed, okay, play to that speed. I get it. But I think after a while, if you practice in those conditions and now you got to go on the road, I would suggest to you that dome teams, for the most part, have poor playoff records or poor road records. I think the splits are, are pretty significant. And so that's, that's all I'm saying, that it's harder to deal with the unpredictability that football brings about based on where you are playing inside all the time. I saw it. I saw it up close, Mike. The last thing I'll say, I'll give it back to you. 
I saw it up close. Uh, I think it was 2000, let's say 2003, 2004, whatever it is. Uh, and that, it was, you know, the Colts Patriots saying Manning, Brady. Mm -hmm. I, was oh, yeah. in I was there. Full swing yeah. at the time. <laughs> I was, so I, I was, I, with I, was <laughs> I was covering. No, but I'm saying, but I, at one point uh, for, for a, before a playoff game, I had to go out and do something uh -huh. on the Colts. Mm -hmm. And I saw them preparing for a game in Foxborough. They were inside of their bubble, but to prepare for the cold, they had the windows open. And I was just thinking, nah, not, that's not, that's not going to get it done. You're preparing for a game in Foxborough. It's going to be like, and that, that day it was like 20 degrees and snow flurries. And you think you can prepare for that by opening the windows? It's just Michael, not the same, we spent, man. We spent entirely too much time on this subject recently. I wanted to get to a second topic in this block, which is go ahead, go ahead. an impossibility when it comes to us. But I have I to it. say this. The Patriots sucked for most of their existence, playing outdoors in the cold. I would venture right. to say separate that topic. their success had a lot That's more a to topic. do with the head coach and quarterback and players like Teddy and Rodney than the fact that they played outdoors. Because by your rationale... No, 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 no. Outdoor teams, it might be an advantage if you play to it. At the end of the day, the players, whether they're playing on grass, or artificial turf, synthetic, whatever it is, that is what makes you a tough team and, by extension, a successful team in the playoffs. There are lots of teams I, that play outdoors in the cold the right now thing? that are yes. terrible. That's the main thing. So, okay, no, so I, I just don't see, think there's a direct see, correlation. You there's think not I'm a direct saying, correlation. There's not a direct correlation. I deal in it's fact, all part of it. and there is not a direct correlation between playing outdoors and playoff success. You know who wins in the playoffs? Good teams, wherever they play. They win. No, no, not whatever. Uh, I would say this, Mike. I say wherever you, you they are, play. You, you're trying to... Um, you're trying to push me into that corner that you ran off uh, to a few minutes ago <laughs> when you heard Rodney Harrison... <laughs> say uh, that Matthew Stafford is a dumb quarterback. I'm not Thanks, saying Rodney. that. I'm not saying that the only reason the Patriots win is because they play outside. I didn't say that. I didn't say that you said that. I didn't say that you said. Okay, that. so you, that, and I didn't say the main reason. I didn't say more, that you said that either. I didn't say the main reason. I'm saying was, I'm, I'm, I'm at the opposite extreme. I'm saying it has nothing to do with anything. I think, it's well, some, I, think it I, think, I think it's something people just say. I, I think it does. I think it's and, something that old school coaches just say. Kind of like you got a contract, you should honor it. Don't teams are not as tough. Like okay, what team? Fine, sure. What team is Rodney Harrison coach? What team is Rodney Harrison coach? Okay. You said old school coaches. Wait, wait, who, who's he coach? Rodney's old school. I love him to death. Works, Rodney is old. He school. works with a coach. He works with a coach. I, I'm surprised that Tony has never had this debate before. They should settle this. Like, we don't know what we're I, talking about. Neither one of us have had to play in the cold. They should settle this. They should, they, they, they should actually. Anyway, one day we'll get the two on it. We'll, we'll shut up and let them do it. Hey, thanks for watching Brother From Another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Peacock. Appreciate you.